When you're playing midfield and your team is on the attack, there are a few basic things that every good player does. There's the movement off the ball before you receive it. The basics of receiving and protecting the ball. And then there's playing the right pass at the right moment. Today we'll talk about all those things, because you're watching All Attack. Movement off the ball. Before you can do anything with the ball, you have to get it. And as a midfielder, this means a whole lot of small movements and short runs. constantly moving into positions to create passing lanes for your teammates. And that movement is continuous. You don't stop. If a defender blocks your passing lane, you move to create a new passing lane. And if you don't get the ball, you keep moving and look for the next opportunity to create a passing lane. Now, where exactly you move on the field and how far you move really depends on your position and what your team expects of you. For example, if you're a central defensive midfielder, your teammates might not be too happy if you wander up the left wing to create a passing angle for your striker. But generally speaking, if the ball is within 15 to 20 meters, you're expected to try to make yourself available for the pass, especially if your teammate has limited passing options. And the only way to do that is to constantly be on the move, finding gaps between defenders and creating space to receive the ball. Plan ahead. Now that you've moved into a good position to receive the ball, it's time to start thinking about what you would do if you actually got it. Because what you don't want is to receive the ball and have absolutely no idea what you're doing. This is where field awareness comes in, because as you're moving to receive the ball, you also need to be regularly looking around the field, taking note of where your opponents are and where your teammates are. And once you know that information, you can start planning for what you would do with the ball if you were to get it because now you know where you can touch the ball, where you can pass the ball, without giving it away to a defender. Receiving. Now that you're ready to receive the ball and your teammate is passing to you, let's talk about your first touch. See, when you take your first touch, you don't wanna just control the ball. You want to touch the ball where you want to go. Maybe a defender is coming in for a tackle and you want to touch the ball away from them. Maybe a teammate is in a good position and you want to play a first time pass. Maybe the player you're looking to pass to is behind a defender, so you touch the ball to the side to set you up for that pass. The point is, your first touch should always set you up for what you want to do next. Passing. 
Now that you've received the ball, it's probably time to play a pass. The question is, what pass should you play? Well, that really depends on the situation. See, most of the time when you receive the ball at midfield, there won't be some great forward passing option. And when that's the case, the best choice is usually just a simple pass to a nearby teammate. Someone who's open and not under too much pressure. But if you see a teammate who's in a great position to move the attack forward, or someone who's making a run behind the defense, and you think you're capable of passing the ball to them, then you should play the forward pass. Or at least if you want to score more goals, you should. Protecting the ball. Sometimes, though, you can't pass the ball right away. Sometimes you have to keep the ball for a short period of time until you can find a passing option. If your goal while dribbling is to simply keep the ball, then there are a few things to remember. The first is to dribble away from pressure. Turn away from situations where there are going to be multiple defenders and none of your teammates. The second is to put your body between the defender and the ball. And if need be, use your arms and lower your center of gravity to hold off the defender. This is especially important if the defender is really close. And finally, most of the time, the best way to keep possession is to simply pass the ball to an open teammate. All right, everyone, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and Make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football. Is